couple of weeks, I've been going over all these entries. We've gotten a lot, actually, uh, about, I think, 30 to 40 entries. I don't know, but I think the problem is, is that uh, half of the people uh, didn't send their film. What I mean by that is, like, most of them weren't even on YouTube. I couldn't even find them. They weren't even out yet. They were from last year. Guys, I had specific rules for the contest. If you didn't follow those, you're not in this video. A thing I like about the entries is that many people did either figures or actual editing. Um, SFMs, a little kind of on that way. Stop motions, movies just about the kaijus fighting, movies just about people. There's some really long ones out there. I didn't really care if it had a story or not. I just want to see the quality of the actual project and I could tell by that if you actually care about it or not. And trust me, a lot of you care. And most of everyone. But really, it's kind of like on that starting stage. I mean, look at me. This is my first movie. I know what it's like to be at the bottom of the barrel. Like, it's literally a thing I lived through for about two years. I just kept doing them and doing them and doing them. The more you do, the better you get. If you're the type of person to say, Oh, I need to buy all these supplies. Oh, I don't have an editing software. Oh, I don't have this camera. Just do it with the bare minimum you have, your phone. Enough of me spitting dirt, let's get on to the winners. A thing I did for this contest is that I subscribed to your channel if you actually sent a movie that I could watch, because I watched about 30 of them, and I, I subscribed to all those people mostly. If I miss some, I'll go back and check that again. The next honorable mention is Godzilla Massive Object. This one kind of caught my attention, not because of the fact that it's made by figures, but the fact that you actually made some buildings, yeah, they might not be completely like styrofoam blocks, they're kind of cups, they're party cups, uh, swirled around with like paper of building textures, but that works. I mean, it gives the faraway illusion of it, so in a way you did accomplish your goal. Godzilla the Colossal um, kind of grabbed my attention, not only because it has a quality over 480p, which honestly, that doesn't affect any kind of fan film, guys. If you don't have the best quality camera, that's totally fine. But little nods such as having a giant ice cube for when Godzilla's in Antarctica or such scenes like that really makes the film pop out more for its sets, really. To be honest, Godzilla vs. Baragon is actually one of my favorite honorable mentions because it not only uses live-action people, but the sets are actually pretty good. I think the main interest for me on this one is the fact that you got real people and your own, like, brothers and sisters or friends, whoever they are. Having that layer in a fan film really brings it up so many levels, so I really congratulate you for that. Number five has got to go to Godzilla, the King's Revenge. The effects in this and coming from a kid are really good! And I think that's what caught my attention is the mixture of effects and practical sets. Yeah, that, that's like that right there. You can see that's a pretty good example of how good the effects are. Um, coming from you specifically. Just the, the sets. I, I like the sets a lot. The buildings. You made so many buildings. When fan films become too long, you start to lose interest if you don't have anything actually interesting in front of the camera, so I think you did a pretty good job with that. Number four has got to go to Godzilla Gamer 74, Godzilla vs. Gamera. This is a short little four minute fight battle scene. The things that make me enjoy this a lot is definitely the lighting. I think the lighting looks the best here out of all the fan films this year. This is the definition of what a night scene should look like on camera. And adding these realistic buildings that you bought and made and from the SH Monster Arts set really make it pop out a lot more. I don't know what was the thing with Gaios being made of Legos, I don't know what's that. But other than that, I think this will really catch people's attention because of how short it is and how good it can be. It's like a good package. They look very Toho reminiscent from the old Godzilla movie, so that's a thing. Ooh, we're getting into the big three. I can already see the outcries burst. Godzilla vs. Manda by Predatorus Films. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but that's what I'm gonna call it. This fan film isn't about having the best effects or the best sets. This fan film had his own Manda figure. It reminded me how I made Mushino the puppet. You made an actual Manda figure. But having that figure be in a stop motion short like this really makes it great. My one little thing with this one is that I think the shots should be a little more lower down. If it was lower, this would have definitely been a number one or two. But I still think it makes a top five list. I thought the buildings look really good. I could tell you got inspired by Super Mario Zilla's type of buildings. But as a short little fan film, I think this definitely makes number three for the best fan film of 2017. So I can't really make this number two because it's like number one and two are really on the same level for me personally but if I had to choose a place for it it'd probably be number two and I could just see the effort sparkling in them so number two has got to go 
to Toho Society with Godzilla vs. G Fantas. It's a fully 3D generated short that he made and I thought it was really good. It doesn't have to have a story because I could just see the effort going off it as a fan film being Godzilla vs. G Fantas. G Fantas is the G Fest creature that was made. All the movements of the creatures look really realistic. It, that's a problem I see with many edits like this is that all the movements are really cut short. They move strictly like a robot, moving one limb and one limb. Every limb of the monsters in this short were all moving. They all look realistic. And this definitely makes number two spot. Please check this one out because I really enjoyed it. And I thought it's one of the best of 2017. Now, the best fan film of this year. It's got to go to Machino. And the Academy Award... Louise Duran. There's a mistake. Godzilla vs. Sigoras. This fan film is awful. It's just really good. I really found the practical sets really good. All the scenes, like, you could definitely tell NDK Films definitely took his right time to make this. And you could use the argument that, oh, you're just kissing up to NDK, he's the next Kaijuzilla. No. In all honesty, I watched all these entries. It had a story. It had great practical sets, which were the real kicker of this one. Actually, okay Godzilla fights. Human scenes, voice actor performances, everything. All these things compiled that make this one of the best fan films of this year. Probably the best Godzilla fan film of this year. Made me tell you guys that everyone that's watching this video, go right now and watch this fan film entirely. Favorite scene in the movie goes to Steven Arook. He should win an Oscar right now. <sighs> Just some time to myself. What? On God's green planet? I really enjoyed all these fan films, whether they were in need of improving or not. Godzilla fan films is a vital part of this community, and if that thing just gets wiped out, this community will break down even more. If you weren't mentioned in this contest at all, make a really good fan film fixing all these problems like I mentioned to these other people. So I'm going to be giving a special prize that I will mention because I don't want anyone to feel bad about it to the first person who win, which is NDK Films. I cannot thank you guys enough because really Really, it, the fact that you entered a fan film in this makes me feel like I could keep making more content on this channel. Because having a big network of people making fan films is a thing that will make this community thrive. So I hope you go out there, watch movies that aren't about Godzilla, and get those ideas and morph them into something that could relate to Godzilla. Don't have a tank battle. Make something entirely weird and different but place Godzilla in that situation. So enough rambling, thank you guys for this year's Godzilla fan film Oscars, and I hope to see a lot more next year. This is Kaijuzilla621, signing out.